Hey gang, I am in Naperville today at the St. Peter's and Paul Cemetery. This is the cemetery, actually the same cemetery where Janine Nakarico is buried. She was a, one of the girls that was murdered by Brian Dugan. Earlier video, I'll reference it, but today the, I'm at the old part of the cemetery. It's a small cemetery, but this is where a lot of the older gravestones are. And we'll take a look at some, but we're really here to talk about Jenny Dizon, a Filipino 17 year old, she was 16 or 17, who died a very tragic death that we're going to talk about. 1817, 1863, very old monument. There looks to be some very interesting monuments, so we're going to check out first. A little bit of a windy day, very sunny, cold. What's nice is we can see, this is a very large monument. We can see very clearly, 1861, 56 years old in death. This one's a little bit harder to read. Hinterlane, if I'm reading that correctly. Died October 18, 1865, age 62. Hinter Lang looks like a, a husband and wife. Look at these over here. It has a new, a new plate that has been added. I see the name Magdalena Yackley Ready or Righty. I'll let you read both of those at the same time. Here's another interesting stone. I've seen these before, these type of carvings at uh, Mount Carmel. couple more here. Now the, Yang, the name Yakley, I, I recognize the street. There's a, a big street here called Yakley. So this Helena and John must have been quite notable people here. Helena died February 10th, 1881 at the age of yeah, I can't see that. I see a two. And John died in 1863. And again, it's really hard. Does that say 17, age 17? Could they have both been very young? I don't know. I don't know that that's, I don't think that's a 17. Maybe it's, I think maybe 67. What do you guys think? But the Yackleys, yeah, they're pretty well known here. Let's take a look at, see a couple more here. Can't really read these. This one we can read in 1890, last name Herbert. I'll see a few more. We might as well, I'm going to walk backwards because that's the, the way we're headed. And I don't like looking at the back. Have you guys look at the back of tombstones. This is an interesting monument here. Age 59, age 44. 
Schimeller, it looks like. Peter and wife. I just see a first initial there. So let's let's move on here. Jenny was from around here, Downers Grove. She lived and she had dropped off her two siblings at the dentist's office. And it was part of an afternoon of errands that she was running for the family, for her mom. And not wanting to wait around, she thought she would duck away to the park nearby, O'Brien Park, to make some notes in her notebook. Kind of like her diary. And she found a quiet place. And she settled in to make notes about her thoughts, about her life. And as she was doing so, apparently a storm had rolled in. And maybe, you know, sometimes it doesn't take much of a storm. It might just be dark clouds and then out of nowhere lightning comes down and sadly sadly that is that is what happened the lightning just it just it wasn't her time and if there's any comfort to be taken which there is little in the story that she was, it was, it's kind of poignant, maybe ironic, that she's making notes in the notebook, reflecting on her life and her deepest thoughts, writing them down. And in that instant, God, God came to take her. Just sad. Now I see up here there is what looks like to be a grotto of some sort. I didn't notice this actually when I came in here. Let's go take a look. You can see that the tombstones here are, well, they're getting later and later more and more modern. Cemetery is very well maintained. This is a fresh 2020. Interesting. They were married, uh, Rogers, Gerald and Marge were married in, in 1953. And we can see here that they both died within months. Gerald first, July 4th, 2020, and then Marge, gosh, just a few months later, last year. How very, very sad. Here is another grave, Joseph Peter Sell. Died early. Obviously, he was into music. How tragic. This is a beautiful work of art, I must say. Look at that. I've of, often wondered, is this a replica, these grottos or like this? I've, I've, I feel like I've seen this in books where you ever hear the story of Metagornia, 
Now I'm just, I can't remember if I'm pronouncing that, but it's, it's Fatima, the girl, the kids, they saw the presence of the Holy Mother, Mary. Very interesting story. That is, always has intrigued me. Well, let's continue on. We're getting close to Jenny's grave. She went to Bennett Academy. She was a senior. And it was a resident who lived right across the street from the park who heard lightning and a big lightning strike, looked outside and caught a glimpse of Jenny. She was just laying there unconscious all by herself. No one was with her. It was around 5, 5.20 p.m. on a Thursday where when he called 911, they found her unconscious, unconscious and alone. Of course, the siblings, or at least her sister, was calling her on the phone. She was not answering her phone. So they knew that something, something was up. Her grave is right up here. Trying to walk around. A lot of these graves, yeah, with the Easter eggs right here. Yep. Jenny dies on. Beautiful girl. Beautiful. Look at that smile. It's a very sad, sad story, but it's, again, like fate, and it happened to be her time. Jenny was described as very bubbly, very vibrant, and sadly, she was only three days away from graduating high school. Her classmates described her as an eccentric and loving girl who loved wearing bright clothes and eyeshadow, and she had a laugh that carried down the hallway. Jenny was also into music. She liked to sing, and she played the ukulele and the piano. Now, her mom had described her as their little angel. Her mom her mom's name is Marietta. She said that Jenny had a golden heart and whoever she met, she touched their heart. She is a very, along with the husband, uh, her, uh, Jenny's dad and the family, they're very religious. And about this, she said, God had called her, we just have to place our trust in him. Her dad was philosophical in saying that as he stood in the driveway, he rued the mi milestones he would not experience with Jenny. All the things that they would have done together. And he said, I was looking forward to our father-daughter dance Eric said, her father, she was supposed to graduate this Sunday, he said. But she graduated from life, I guess. Quote, unquote. Well, 
Jenny, we hope you're resting in peace.